All right, today's topic is fear. One of my favorite things to talk about, fear. Who doesn't love that, right? What's so funny about it is we all have so much fear. So let's talk about it for a second. I've got a great question that'll answer and maybe it'll give you the answer to your fear questions. Uh, this person is in my A-listers group and if you're not in the A-listers group, you should be. It's the group that is trying to be the best, attempting greatness. And now uh, we keep each other accountable in that uh, private Facebook group. So here's the question. Has fear ever held you back from getting what you want or from fulfilling on your declaration? Has fear ever held you back from getting what you want? Short answer, 100% yes. Fear has often held me back from getting what I want, from me fulfilling on my dreams or my declaration. Of course, yes. But you have to think of fear like this. Fear, I'm always afraid, right? I, I, I just have surrendered to the fact that it's always going to be there. There are some sense of fear that I have even shooting this video, right? I'm nervous, I hope it works out. Hope you enjoy it. Hope my hair looks okay. Hope my whatever, you know, hope I don't mess up words, right? You have fear. But what makes me go forward and shoot the video? I, I'm afraid, right? But I still go forward and the video runs and here I am and I'm in front of it and I'm speaking. Your courage must supersede your fear or better yet, your declaration or your dream must take precedence over your fear. So you remember the first time you went on a diving board, right? And you know, your mom or your dad was in the water and they're going, jump, little dude, jump. And you're like, no, I'm scared. I'm scared. And then eventually at some point you jumped. You were afraid, but you still jumped. What was that that made you jump? Your fear didn't go away, but you still jumped, right? It's that your dream of jumping off a diving board, your commitment to jumping into that water superseded the fear that you had. And so you did it. This used to happen to me all the time, you guys, in. Uh, when I was a player, right, when I was an NFL player, I would be in the tunnel being uh, waiting to be introduced to, you know, 80,000 people in the stadium, right? And before my name would be called, I'd be, you know, in this dark tunnel waiting for my name to be called, then I'd run out. I would stand there in the dark and be so scared, you know, that I was gonna fail as a football player, that I was gonna get hurt, that we were gonna lose and I was gonna blow it, whatever, I was having fear even though I trained my whole life for it, still had the fear, just like you have fear. But when they called my name, I ran onto the field. But what I secretly really wanted to do was turn around and run to the locker room door and run out to the parking lot of the Houston Astrodome and get in my car and drive back to California. That's what I wanted to do. But my commitment to the team and my dream to be an NFL player superseded the way I felt, which was afraid. And I ran onto the field when they introduced me and I ended up playing in that game despite my fear. So don't try to pretend like you don't have fear and don't try to act like fear is gonna go away someday. I'm just gonna resolve my whole fearful thing. It's not, it's always gonna be there. At least it is for me. And always remember that my dream, your dream, always supersedes the way you feel. So you might feel confident or you might feel not confident. You might be fearful, you might feel free. It doesn't matter how you feel. What matters is what you're committed to. What matters is your dream. And if your dreams are like mine, if they're big enough, you will take a step onto the field despite the way you feel. Get out there and just look at your fear. Take a step forward anyway, because that's what courage is all about, right? And that's what we're all about in this group.